Yesterday, uh, the House of Representatives uh, assigned committee seats or assignments. Um, AOC didn't get the one she wanted. She wanted to get a seat in the uh, Energy and Commerce Committee uh, to also push forward legislation in relations to the Green New Deal, which is one of her signature um, policy uh, proposals. Now, some say this is because, well, of course, she's a progressive, they wouldn't support her. Others say, see, this means you have to push harder, oppose Pelosi more. Here's a problem with that narrative, though. Uh, if she hadn't opposed Pelosi that openly this last week, and actually on Jeremy Scahill's podcast, podcast Intercepted said, uh, yeah, she has to go. Basically, that's what she said after Scale asked her if she thinks Pelosi and Schumer have to go. Uh, she might actually had would have gotten this seat. Of the five seats that were assigned, the Senate lead, the Senate House leadership um, recommended four instead of five. The steering committee, which decided who gets the seats, were kind of perplexed about that, and the uh, debate broke out. In the end, in a secret vote, AOC lost with a 45 to 13 uh, vote. Now, uh, she lost to Kathleen Rice, somebody to the right of Nancy Pelosi, who had opposed Pelosi in 2018 to be the speaker. Pelosi doesn't like her. Pelosi might have recommended AOC if AOC wouldn't have said, well, maybe she shouldn't become speaker now. Or maybe she should replace the speaker in the future. That might have cost her this committee assignment. Because for Nancy Pelosi, what is most important is her power within the institution. That is Congress. And that depends on the support she gets of the people within her caucus, regardless of the ideological alignments. With AOC not directly supporting her anymore, she's for just as better as rights and completely useless. So why? So now she didn't say pick AOC instead of rice. So the conservatives in that committee, of course, picked rice. This is what you get when you push for performative bullcrap like a floor vote on Medicare for all that will definitely fail uh, instead of something that might actually lead to short-term material benefits for people. And the thing is AOC kind of said that last weekend on Twitter and she got screamed at from part of the left and everybody else on the left who defended her, or even pe even people who agreed with the notion she should ask for Medicare for all, but she kind of has a point. Committee seats are important as well. We're called nerds from those who said, no, all that matters is Medicare for all. You're not going to get Medicare for all for the next four years e anyway. As long as Biden is in office, no Medicare for all. You can even replace all the Democrats in the House that oppose it by 2022. I doubt that you are capable of that, but even if you were, you still wouldn't get it. So, how about making priorities? And the sad truth is, even within the current pandemic, that is Medicare for all because that isn't achievable. And the fact that that isn't achievable should tell you everything about how corrupt the American political process is.